So you want to become a coach, or maybe you are a coach, but yet you struggle with a format to follow while you're coaching. Well, today you're in luck, because I'm gonna share with you what I do in one of my strategies, and I'm gonna share a lot of my different strategies. This has really been my go-to. And there are a set of questions that I go through. So hey, I'm Mark Nelson, a former public school teacher, and I became a coach. See, while teaching, I coached tons of kids. Low students, high achievers, athletes, then I turned to coaching, I went into business people. People are just looking for a transformation. That's what we worked on. We're trying to get them results. So a format I use, or some of the questions I use, and they're really pretty simple, and they're based around three. And the first one is, I want to find out what is their vision or what are their goals? So as we're talking in a coaching session, I'll ask the question, hey, what do you want to achieve? And I let them answer. And then usually what I do is I repeat what they say to me. And then I might ask, well, why do you want to achieve that? Because I want to hear the reason behind it. I want them to tell me the reason. See, the, the key to coaching is, one, the feedback, but listening and getting them to talk. The next question. After we talk about what do they want to achieve, ask them maybe why do they want to achieve that, I'll ask, well, what do you want to avoid? And here's where I'm going with that. Let's say you're working with somebody who wants to lose weight. And I'm just picking that up, this easy one to talk about. So somebody wants to have a goal of losing weight, losing 20 pounds in six months. I just pick numbers up. And you go, okay, that's their goal. Why do you want to achieve that? Well, because summer's coming up and I want to get in my bathing suit. Or it's boating season or, or whatever. All these different things. And then, well, what do you want to avoid? Well, what I really want to avoid if I go on a diet that I actually go backwards and I gain weight. And that really is something that a lot of people have in their mind. So the same thing, right? The first time I said, what do they want to achieve? And why would they want to achieve that? Then I go, well, what do you want to avoid? And why would you? Uh, now the next one is, why would you want to avoid that? Well, if I were talking about weight, losing weight, guess what? <laughs> so many people go on diets and instead of losing weight, they gain weight. And I was one of them because I had to lose weight for a uh, surgery I had coming up. And the surgeon actually had to talk to me about it. Uh, because I wasn't losing, and he convinced me really easily to <laughs> start losing weight. So, the next one is we're going to start strategizing. You want to say, well, what could you do first? If you want to lose weight, what's your first step? Maybe it's getting a food out of the house. Maybe it's not eating sugar. Maybe it's getting a meal plan. I don't know. And then it could be, well, will you do it? Right? Because a lot of people set goals, but are they going to do it? Now, when you're working with people, right, I, I think you really have to build a trust here. So you start asking some other questions. And one is, is it okay if I have to ask you questions so I understand? Because some people don't like all the questions being coming out. Is it okay if I interrupt you to keep you on track, us on track. Is it okay if I make requests? Is it okay if I hold you accountable? All those questions are huge. Hey, if you're really thinking about becoming a coach or you wanna get better at coaching, I'd love to have a session with you, just a free coaching session. So look down in the description below, click that link, schedule a call, and let's see if we're a good fit. I can help you build your coaching business. You all take care. Bye.